we design our buildings based around a freestanding structure within your environment. And the way that we accomplish this is through the framework of our systems. So here I have a couple of samples demonstrating two different types of wall systems. The post, the wiring stud, is really the basis behind the structural design of our system. The framework, the post, is going to be on four foot centers. And that framework, which provides us the ability to be a freestanding structure, standalone structure within your facility. So let's talk about some of the design parameters that go into that. First, we have what we call gravity loads. Gravity loads are the forces coming down on the post. These posts uh, provide functionality by being a non-progressive design, giving you the ability to uh, remove adjacent panels without disrupting uh, the panels next to them. The post also gives you the functionality of wiring capabilities on either side or one side of the post. Uh, but more importantly, the post gives us the structural aspect of carrying loads. So we're able to create uh, equipment platforms by utilizing a load-bearing wall system, utilizing this post as the integrity aspect of the structural design and we can go up to design criteria up to 125 pounds per square foot, which is general storage for like what you'd build for a mezzanine. And that's all done in the post. So actual loads or gravity loads are the forces coming down on the panel. The next design criteria is lateral load. Lateral load are forces that uh, Im impose laterally to the wall system. So building codes say that you need to build uh, based on five pounds per square foot lateral load on any wall that's over 60 inches tall. And this post provides us the ability to meet that five pound lateral load criteria. The last aspect to our design, giving the part of the country that you're in, is we have to look at the seismic design criteria. And so for seismic design criteria, we'll add uh, additional uh, materials to meet the seismic requirements for uh, your particular region of the country. So one of the other aspects into the design of PortaFab systems, and it really kind of identifies the breadth of our product, is we have various thicknesses of wall systems. So here I have a three inch thick wall system, and I have a four and five eighths thick wall system. The relevance to the thickness of the wall is the thicker the wall system, the taller we go. Uh, they call it the slenderness ratio. So when I have a wall that uh, be starts getting very tall, I need to provide more structural integrity to that wall by going to a thicker system so I can meet the gravity load requirements as well as the lateral load requirements. So at the end of the day, the thicker the wall system, the greater the height, the greater the structural capacity to the post system is.